How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Whiskier. We have Jaron, we have Joe, the two J's, baby. And we are at Joe's go-to spot. You live how far from here? I'm about five, 10 minutes away. Five, 10 minutes away. He shops here all the time. I've had a lot of their picks from him that I've tasted. I've never been in the store, been curious to know about it. We're at Highlands Wine Cellar here in Colorado, and we got the guys with us today. We're gonna go check out their selection. They're picks monsters. Yeah, they, you've they, tasted they some of their picks it, too. Yeah. Awesome. Every pick that we've had from this store, just yeah. chef's kiss, kills it. Yeah, so we're gonna go and check out the selection. We'll see you inside. So let's browse the shelves here. I've taken a little gander around. First of all, beautiful store. They have some amazing things. Um, all the way from tequila, they have an amazing scotch selection that I'm not gonna talk about, but we'll show you. We'll put it, we'll do a nice little panoramic for you, but we're gonna start here on Colorado whiskey and just kind of show you what they have. So first off, Five Trail, um, coming out of the Coors Distillery, that is the most Five Trail I've ever seen. The only one I've seen is their standard, and I just recently bought their barrel crew. So for those of you that don't know, again, Coors, the beer company, made their own whiskey, and this stuff is actually pretty special. I really enjoy it, especially for the price, $74.99 for their barrel proof, but it's just cool. You get something from a beer company, and all of us know who Coors is, but I promise you a lot of you don't know what Five Trail is. That's something to check out next time you're in a store and they have it. Uh, moving down, again, you could just take a look at a lot of their whiskey that they have, all Colorado stuff, and then the next shelf over is gonna be bourbon, and we'll head there in a second. But one thing, a few things I wanna point out, is Old Elk Cigar Cut. Um, Joe, behind over here, get over here. I know you, you're not the craziest fan of the Cigar Cut, because you gave me a bottle. I, uh, I picked up one of these. I didn't hit my palate right, Yeah, you know, but. And what's funny so was, yeah, what's funny was he brought this to uh, an allocation event that we went to, and it was a cornhole, and everyone that tasted it there loved it, including you. Yes, I I love the old Elk Cigar Cut. It's like, Dude, I couldn't believe it. When Joe yeah. says he doesn't like someone, I'm like, nah. <laughs> nah. There's no way, right? No, it, it is, at least for me, it was it's a very good pork. It is, now, do you think it's $125? No, pork? and so that's the only thing is, like, the reason I don't have my a bottle of a my bottle, own yeah. is because it is very good, but I would probably pay, I, probably, I wouldn't pay over 100 for it. That's fair, and that's totally fair. But um, definitely worth checking out. I think I've, compared to like a couple of cigar cuts I've had, this is one of the better ones. And I really, I don't know if it's just the name that really sells, but a lot of cigar cuts tend to really get up there in price. Yeah. But um, there's a couple of brands that I really enjoy. In particular, really, Art of the Spirits has put out some amazing cigar cuts when they finish in Tokai barrels and stuff. But if you haven't checked out Old Elk Cigar Cut and you're really thinking about it, if you like the, let's say, Joseph Magnus or some of those more highly allocated bottles, check these out because they sit on the shelves at a lot of places. Almost want to say introduction whiskey because yeah. it is a lower proof whiskey and it's at a fair price point. But the good thing about Tank Cup is the price. It's $70. Yeah, it's like 70 bucks $70. For a what is this? A pear brandy with a pear inside? That's actually kind of cool, That's huh? That's super cool. How do you think they got it in there? Wait. I'm being so dead serious. I am too. Can we- Did they are, build the glass like around the pear? Listen, in the comments right now immediately, tell us how did they get these pears in here? How'd they do that? I, we need to know. How'd they do that? We Is it good? That blew my mind. I'm mind blown for the rest of the day. Elijah Craig Towers. This is not something that you normally see if you're gonna see some of these products. They're gonna be on the shelf or in some areas allocated as well. Um, Buffalo Trace Towers are pretty common and they'll have just standard Buffalo, but we'll talk about this real quick. They had the new A124 barrel proof from Elijah Craig coming in at 79. Pretty great price for that too, by the way. I mean, some people mark these up so much. We also see that he sold out of it, but he did have the Bernheim barrel proof, which is great. And then also down low, $54, you have Elijah Craig toasted. I've noticed guys that these are getting a little more common to see the toasted. They are. I'm not sure if they're boosting their production. Um, maybe some of you might know, but these are everywhere now, this Elijah Craig toasted, Nate, so. What, what is the toasted barrel that you have? He has, so Nate has the European toasted and that comes from the Ryder Cup edition. And what it is, is it's finished in European oak. Way better, That's, I think. It's it's phenomenal. Um, Traveler whiskey, who, have y'all tried it? Yep. Yes. You tried it, what are your thoughts? It's not bad. What are your thoughts? It's, it's mid, it's not bad. It's a mixer to me, but it's a great mixer, I can't lie. So, but here's the thing though, 
It's forty dollars. I know. That's yeah. why I'm I'm not buying it for mixing purposes. I was gifted a traveler, and there's really no way that I could truly sip and enjoy it like a lot of the whiskeys I have in my cabinet. So I thought one day, let's try this as a mixer, put it in a cocktail. It's phenomenal. It's great. Ninety proof. You almost. But the only negative is you almost can't taste the bourbon. So that's what you're looking for. If you want to spend forty dollars on it, go ahead. But um, there's definitely much better. 90 per, I think Buffalo Trace is personally better than Traveler itself. Like just standard Buffalo Trace. Pikesville Rye, 110 proof for $46.99. That is gonna be a great value when it comes to whiskey. If you're just getting into rye, or if you really are a rye drinker, or if you just really enjoy bourbon, but you wanna try rye, Pikesville is the way to go, especially with the price, you're not gonna be disappointed. Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. Now coming out of the Heaven Hill Distillery, along with a lot of the Elijah Craig's, Henry McKenna, I really enjoy Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond more than a lot of their products. It's just solid, it's a go-to, it's always gonna be on my shelf. And then one thing, Middle West. Middle West has put out some awesome products. So their straight weeded bourbon whiskey is gonna be my favorite. You get a lot of that maple syrup, brown sugar, honey, and then the Middle West Pumpernickel Rye is like the first of its kind. It's also a great rye at $44. Dude. This monster right here. Yes. Yeah, I, this is probably one of Jolly the best ranchers. rye's you can get from New Riff. I picked this up from Wine Cellar. It's one of my staples of my cabinet. It is phenomenal. Like if you see this, pick it up. 64 bucks yes. is phenomenal. I compared it all the time to like a Blue Jolly Rancher, that, that sugary, yeah. that profile that you so get. It's good. so good and it finishes well too. Now, one thing we can point out real quick too, this just sitting on the shelf is the Woodford Masters collection coming at $149, standard price. Really different and unique if you notice, if you haven't seen these before, different than the standard Woodford bottles, but you also get really high up in proof. I'm a big fan. I think it was the batch before this, the 119 proof that I really enjoyed, right? 118. I'm 118? So it was the 118 proof and you have that bottle, Nate, and I really, really loved it. We cracked it at my house actually that one night. Just so good, solid. I, I picked that bottle up. From here, yeah, but I've got it on the shelf. Yeah, it is really good. It's awesome, it's delicious. Um, one thing I also want to highlight real quick is no, I'm kidding. Just <laughs> don't ever buy that stuff, dude. It's literally colored vodka, and they call it whiskey. Penelope, <laughs> <laughs> some angel sounds. Um, dude, you know what I tried for the first time the other day, and I never had it was the barrel shrimp. Oh, really? Yeah, so at Security Liquors, he has shooters of it, okay. of the barrel strength, and he was like, yeah, crack it, you never had it. For $54, easily one of the best, one of the best whiskeys for the price. And um, that's also the cheapest I've seen it for 54. Right next to it, we were just talking 43 bucks for Rosé is great. And Joe put me on the Rosé because uh, your wife really enjoys it, you said. I you know, a case from here. Bought a case from here. It's just so, so good. 104 proof on this one, but what's so unique, if you look at the back of Architect bottles, it'll tell you the difference or the different profiles that you're gonna get from this, what they change. It's almost like Maker's Mark, how they do their barrel stave selection. Penelope Architects will always have somewhat of a similar and standard flavor profile. However, these are just like, if I had to compare, and I know I've said this before in previous videos, Weller 107. If you haven't found a Weller 107, or if you're looking for that similar profile, I know this isn't a weeded bourbon, but you kind of get that because it's around the same proof, 104 proof, and they just make some killer bottles. Penelope's great. Please check out Penelope. And then coming down here, this is something that Joe and I were talking. We don't normally see, unless there's store picks here, I never see the full proof, single barrels, a bottle, you name it from 1792, unless it's a small batch. So it's pretty cool to see that they have the bottle and bond and single barrel for amazing prices. And it's not a store pick, it's just a standard 1792. And I'm like, we've already talked. I love 1792, Joe does as well, it's good stuff. Avoid this, okay? Avoid Basil Hayden, guys. I feel like a lot of people, when they go in the store, they see the bottle, they think it's cool, and they wanna give it as a gift to someone. Listen, it's 80 proof whiskey. It's not the, it's really not good. Um, there's much better whiskeys that are even 10 points, 10 proof points higher at 90 proof that are better for the value. Um, I think people really get suckered in by that brass label and just the paper label, you know, the labeling. They really sell their bottle well. And it's actually, you know, it's one of the top sold bottles. I was just gonna say, it's the number three most uh, sold bottle of whiskey out there. Which blows my mind, there's better stuff. I would even prefer Elijah Craig small batch, you know. This is a sleeper right here. I, I think people just, I don't know. They don't know, it's former Bell Mead. Okay. But this Nelson Brothers Reserve, phenomenal. This is a great pour. I know you love it. Yes. Nate's loved it. This is a great value, great bottle. This is what I'm buying. 
all day, every day. So 60 bucks, right? Do not sleep on this. Okay. This delicious. 60 bucks. We come down here, they have a little decent uh, smoke wagon selection. Also, every time I see smoke wagon now, I can't stop but think of choke Steve wagon. Campbell. Choke yeah, wagon. Choke wagon. Steve, <laughs> Patreon member, he loves to call smoke wagon choke wagon because he's not a fan of their brand. Joe, Nate, and Jaren, yeah. and I, we all love smoke wagon. I know Steve does it. It's just a funny thing that we have in our Patreon. Special pour right here, dude. Redwood Empire's Grizzly Beast is their bottled and bond coming at 80 bucks. $80, if you can't find an E.H. Taylor bottled and bond, like I know a lot of you are trying or really wanna try, or if you love E.H. Taylor and you really just have a hard time finding it, I promise this is better. It's very similar, but you get way more of a finish. It's a little more complex. It's just as sweet. And you know, just a lot of things Buffalo Trace puts out, there's good alternatives too. I think that might be one of the number one contenders for and the so best you, alternative. You always say that that's probably one of the best bottle and bonds you've had. Easily, yeah. easily one of the best bottle and bonds, and it's very consistent. The most, and I have batch three on my shelf, and this is batch number three. So I'm not sure if they're on batch four yet, but batch three is great. And I'm pretty sure that's what you're gonna find on the shelf right now. And if you take a look, they have a good little barrel selection as well. And yeah, let's, now there's, a, there's two more things that we need to talk about really quick. But before we go there, we'll show you the scotch and then we're gonna go talk about a very special pick that they have in store right now, only a few left. All right, so now we have an Elijah Craig single barrel. This is an eight year old coming in at 116 proof and this is called the Tateful Dead. It is homage to the Grateful Dead. Um, if you don't know who Grateful Dead is, like get real. Y'all know who that is. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I have no clue who that is. <laughs> and they're making fun of me right now. I really don't know who the Grateful Dead is. Anyway, so really cool tater sticker on it, $79.98. And this is all they have left of this pit. And I hear it's pretty special. And now this is probably the most special pick that they have. And this is literally all they have left, maybe a case. Um, but this is an Elijah Craig single barrel coming in at 10 years old. This is coming out of their Deetsville warehouse, which is where their Parker's Heritage, some of their old fits, some of the best stuff in Heaven Hill comes from. And he was able to do a pick. Coming in at 10 years old, you know, that's really old for an Elijah Craig pick. And my favorite part about this bottle, I haven't even tasted it, but the sticker. I love that sticker. Danny Dietz Vito. Danny Dietz Vito. And this is all they have left. It's literally a case. They have six bottles left. So I'm sure this will be going pretty soon. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, you have it. You said it's really yeah. special. And I'm buying both of you guys a bottle today. So we're, we're going to take two of these. So there's only four <laughs> left now, all right? <laughs> He's our, he's our bourbon sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah. We love him. All right, now we're gonna go to the back corner. The owner laid out some of their store picks for us to taste. Um, none of these are available now. However, they're his previous store picks. A couple I think I've had. And then uh, we're gonna taste some new ones as well. And I know from the picks that I've tasted that Joe's given me, they just come out with some amazing picks. It's a great store, as you saw from their selection. So we'll head over there. So this here is, I honestly, Jaron just made a good point, the Live Lucky. I know this is a golf brand. I have a couple of their hats. Never had any of their whiskey before though. I don't know if this is a collaboration or not, but we're gonna try that. So next we had the 1792 Bottle and Bond. The sticker's not on the back, but this was like a Biggie Smalls pick. Yeah. Um, this is one I actually haven't tasted. I have their Prime pick. Loved it, 1792. This is one that I always talk about as well whenever I say, 1792 can be inconsistent sometimes. Every single one that I've had from this store or tasted has been the most consistent. Um, new Rift single barrels, I have one in my cabinet and I absolutely love the New Rift stuff. So we have a Penelope barrel strength here, corn rye, wheat, malted barley, a four grain private selection coming in at 115 proof. And I love Penelope, absolutely love Penelope. And then I'm a little nervous about this one. <laughs> Jefferson. Jefferson's, I'm not, the biggest Jefferson's fan, but we are gonna taste every single one of these. 100 proof, and this is also a pick, uh, single barrel, so very old. I like the sticker on it, that's really neat. And last but not least, the pours. Dude, this is like a uh, homage to Coors Light, us being in Colorado, but Knob Creek pick. I was able to taste this. I know all the guys, including Nate behind the camera, really enjoyed this one. Just, now it's not my cup of tea, but I'm gonna drink it today, because look, I mean, this has gotta open up by then, right? So. That pick is, I bought so many of that one. That's probably my favorite knob pick of all yeah. time. It was a collaboration between- Patrick How many of those have you bought, realistically? Because you've gifted- Four or yeah. five? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I, I've gone through so many of them. I've <laughs> gifted a couple. <laughs> yeah. um, but this bottle is a collaboration um, with uh, Spirits Wine and Provisions, which they're up north, up, up in Arvada. Okay. Um, and Highlands Wine Cellar. So they collabed on this pick. This is hands down. I know you love it. Yeah, I'm Nate, a big I know fan. You got a bottle, yeah. It is uh, phenomenal. Very you can smell the Ooh. corn on this. It's almost like 100% corn. What is it? This smells really nice though. Wait, hold on guys. 
This is aged a minimum of six months. I want to know how old this is. Seven months old? <laughs> six and a half. Sips it proof. Uh -huh. Definitely sips at it, yeah. which it's 90 proof. Um, I'm very curious to know how old it is for, let's say it's six months, because it only says a minimum of six. I've never seen that on a bottle. No. Normally, if you're going to see an age statement, it's going to say age at least two, which is like the youngest stuff. Right. And then it goes age at least three, four, and so on. Or you'll have an exact age statement of 10 years. So the fact that that says six months, I'm pretty curious to see what the exact age is. Because it's not bad, right? No, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I think that's smooth. a good I think that would be a great intro to whiskey or bourbon. Hey, what do y'all think too? Some people hate these bottles. Some people say they look tacky. I think they're kind of cool looking. Yeah, they're, great. they're pretty, they look good on a shelf. Yeah. But some people don't like this gold topper, I guess. Yeah, I have one at just... home that's just not that great, but this smells really good. Yeah. One of my favorite 1792 is the, the sweet wheat. That, that's probably the best one of my favorite. It's almost minty. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. Cause Nate, you taste, yeah, it's I almost minty. You couldn't tell if it was like gum or not. <laughs> Yeah. You see what I'm going yeah. with, with the minty? I like it. Yeah. That's really interesting. That's really good too. So on this, I love New Riff guys. And I've been hearing that New Riff eight years should be coming out sometime this month or within the next month or so. Um, I have a single barrel, I've gone through it already, but your aroma on this is gonna be black pepper and red berry. And on the flavor, it says you're gonna get black tea and nutmeg. I kind of like when bottles put those flavor notes on there for you, because again, when you're drinking with buddies or something and someone points out a flavor note where you're like, cherry or chocolate. You get one track mine. You get one track mine and that's what you taste. So this, it's kind of cool to chase after those flavors that they're telling you about. So let's see, maybe we might pick it up in there. That's really good. Um, that's really good. That's my favorite one. I'm getting Drop the mic. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite one so far. That's crazy, I, I crazy say. smooth. Let's go with this next because I'm really anticipating that. And um, if this, if this isn't great, um, that smells good. It smells like Buffalo Trace almost. Jefferson's, man. Jefferson's single barrel. I could smell that all day. Don't let me down, Jefferson's. Jefferson's, man. Jefferson's single barrel. I could smell that all day. Don't let me down, Jefferson's. Nope. Not a fan. Not in your palate. <laughs> Eh, the finish is nice though. The finish is great. The finish is great. Yeah, and I'm with you. I'm not the biggest Jefferson's fan. I've tried the tropics, the yeah. um, uh, age of ocean, and even some of the standard. This is the first, you know, bottle I've had being a pick that I was like, okay, maybe I'll consider it's, Jefferson's. It's this a, pick I love. It's a lot sweeter on the palate. It's than, almost. Than I feel like a normal. Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like when you sip on an old fashioned, the sweetness on the palate. Yeah. And then right when you swallow, it's kind of bitter. Yeah. And then the finish is nice. Oh, There's great. nothing crazy special about it though. It's one of the better Jeffersons I've had. I just know now, like, it's just not my cup of tea. And I'm sure a lot of you in here either love or hate or just dislike Jeffersons. It doesn't matter, but uh, it's all about opinion, okay? I don't want your little comments. Mm -hmm. Penelope is one of my favorite, oh. favorite whiskey brands. And I'm so glad MGP bought them oh. because what that means is, in my mind, I'm thinking it's only gonna get better for Penelope. MGP bought them out. They're gonna give them all their honey barrels, all their good stuff. So it's just gonna keep getting better, hopefully. Hopefully they don't screw this up. 81% corn, 9% rye, 7% wheat, and 3% barley. So this is definitely a heavy corn mash bill. Yeah. Heavy, yeah. which means sweetness, right? Sweetness. Yeah? Yes. God. It sips at like 90 proof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 90 proof. It sips <laughs> Dude, it's really good. What's the proof on it again? 115. Oh, yeah. 115 proof of straight goodness. It really sips at a 90 proof. Chewy. Chewy. Like, yeah. Now, we're going to pass on these two just because we all have them or have tried them multiple times. They're both, I mean, they really like the knob. I'm just not a knob guy, so I can't really give a great review on it. Rebel was really good, but out of all of these, my favorite truly was actually this new riff. Yeah. But one thing I could tell you about this store, they don't miss when it comes to picks, yeah. okay? So we just left Highlands Wine Cellar. This is your go-to spot and I see why. Yeah. Dude, it is a killer store. Amazing. With great prices too. Yeah. And we're further up north and near Denver area, Denver, Colorado, so I thought, you know, it might be a little pricier, a little, you know. No, it wasn't. They had some of the greatest prices I've seen in a while. And uh, Joe bought myself and Jaren 
the Danny Dietzville, baby. Danny the Danny Dietzville. Monster. Yeah, this is supposed to be one of the best um, Elijah Craig picks. So I'm very thankful for that. Show them what you got. You got a Green River Rye. Have you had that yet? No. So I've been waiting to try it. Okay. So I figured I'm going to pick it up today, give it a shot. Yeah. We'll see. You know. Yeah. And then Nate, Nate bought this. He needs another 1792 single barrel. He said that he's all out of his. So he grabbed one of those. Jaren's in the store talking to a customer, showing around. He could talk to a wall if he wanted to. But overall, what a fantastic store and selection. Joe, thank you for taking us out here, introducing us to the owner. Um, I will definitely be back before I leave here because um, there's a couple of things I want to buy before I actually leave Colorado. But this was such a great store. Oh, there he is. There he is. How was it? Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, it was good. She she wanted to uh, know a little bit more about the whiskeys over there. Oh, okay. So of course, out of all all of us here, <laughs> I should have been the guy to go inform her, right? <laughs> um, no, but I just gave her. What did you think of the store, though? Overall. Oh, overall, the store is great. They yeah. Have, uh, they have a lot of my favorite stuff. Um, I'm super stoked. Thank you again, Joe. Um, yeah, I've. I've I'm super stoked to try this. Um, Elijah Craig, the really the only one that I've had is the C923 and that blew me away. I yeah. just heard the small batch and everything, it, it gets kind of mid, so, you know. Yeah, I'm but, just, yeah, and one thing I want to say too is like the store owner, really cool guy and he really seems to know what he's doing. He's running his store right and from the picks that I've tasted from here, really puts out some amazing products. And there's a lot of other stores like this that we just haven't even showed yet or haven't shared and that's the plan, that's the whole goal with this channel is to showcase awesome stores, awesome products, and then hopefully hit up some distilleries too and show you how the whiskey's made and everything like that. So I wanna first of all, thank every one of our Patreon members. Um, a really great time over on Patreon. We post some awesome stuff. We have a pick coming out soon on Patreon, so I'll link that below. Thank you so much for watching Whiskey. Thank you for supporting, and we're gonna continue doing this. We're not gonna stop, so thank you so much we for watching. It. We and love we'll it and we love y'all. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.